So what have we got here, Hazel? So this is one of the little orphan dormice. I'm just trying to give it some milk, some goat's milk. Um, they can't digest cow's milk, so we can't use that. But they can digest goat's milk. So it's the nearest to their mother's milk. It is. And where did we get these from? So these came from a monitoring site. Um, and they were found by somebody who was checking the nest boxes, doing a survey. And they were very late litter. And unfortunately, the mother was sick. Um, she has an injury, so she couldn't really look after them. And she has, she has unfortunately since died. And so, and the youngsters would not have really survived this late in the year anyway. They were born far too late, probably because we had such a, a warm autumn. The female probably went on to have a second litter, which she might not normally have time for. Um, and they would not. Be a, even if the mother was still okay, she would not have had time to rear them and for them to put enough weight on for hibernation because they, they always double their body weight just before they go into hibernation in the autumn. And this is what we do every autumn? We, we do. We, we rescue any late litters which are, are underweight. And they're really important new bloodlines for our reintroductions and the breeding programme. So how are we going to save this little fella? Um, well, over the we're next going few to days. hand rear him. It is very difficult with animals this young, um, but we hope he's going to survive. Um, and then he will be overwintered with us here at Wildwood, and then he will go for release next spring uh, with our along with our captured bread dormice. So you're going to have to uh, feed this lawn all through the night, all I through am. the day. I am. I'm going to, have to feed him every two hours to start with uh, to make sure he gets enough milk. Um, and I'll have to get up in the middle of the night, so it's going to be sleepless nights for a few weeks. Oh, and how many brothers and sisters has he got? Um, he has four, so we have a litter of uh, I think four males and one female. Okay, dog. And are we expecting any more shortly, do you think? Um, we, we may be taking some more in if anybody else finds underweight dormice, they may be coming to us because this is the time of year when. Uh, everyone's checking their boxes. So yes, we may get some. Just see if he wants to take a tiny bit more. Yes. Okay. I think he's had enough. Okay, dog. And he's going to be released next year, maybe. Or yes. Bred. And how successful are we at releasing the dormice back to the wild? Um, we've been reintroducing dormice uh, well since the 1990s, actually. Um, and most of the sites um, are still doing well. Well, there have been a few where maybe the habitat has not been so great or problems with, with um, other factors, but most of the reintroduction sites are, are doing very well. And we've reintroduced them into a number of counties where they have become extinct. And dormice are really threatened. Is there a possibility they go, go extinct? There is a real possibility because they're threatened through both climate change, um, because they're very weather dependent species, and also through habitat loss and habitat changes, the um, loss of um, native uh, coppice woodlands and hedgerows as well, so loss of corridors which help dormice to move through the countryside, and things like intensive agriculture, where um, trees and, and hedgerows get grubbed out. Well, thank you, Hazel. I'm sure you're going to make an excellent mum. Okay, so I don't want you to get cold. Let's put them back.